Welcome back to the Artifactors Union. I am your host and foreman, Douglas Carnals, and today we are assembling the McMorning Core Box for the Resurrectionists faction. The box contains one Douglas McMorning, this smiling, happy gentleman here, a zombie chihuahua who is actually there he is. Missed him initially. Um, one Sebastian, this guy. And then three flesh constructs, this being one of them in the center of the box. And that's the artwork. Our renders are back here. Good morning, the Chihuahua, Sebastian down here, and the three flesh constructs. Let's look at the sprue. Okay, there's there's a lot here. Um, I believe these are two of the flesh constructs up here, down here. And this is our zombie chihuahua, Sebastian's sprue, and then the third flesh construct and Dougie's sprue. So let's start with Dougie. Okay, looking at Dougie's sprue, we don't have, oh, oops, upside down. <laughs> don't have a whole ton, so that's good for us. We'll take the body, add the rest of the apron on the front, and we'll do his face as well. Then the left arm, followed by the pack thing on his back, which I think would be harder for the left arm to go on after that, so this will be our second to last bit. And the last one, the right hand plus this tube. All right? Okay, so we'll start with E1 and then grab E4 followed by E3. Here's E1, E4 is just going to go right in there. Simple enough, now E3 is his face. Put on the face. Look at how happy he is! Alright, next is going to be E6, the left arm. I'm just going to go right in here, it's the, long, the one with the long saw. There is E6, there is just a tiny notch on the shoulder, which will indicate where it's supposed to rest up against the rest of the body and then now we see the back is going to be nice and smooth and ready for e2 which is sort of a pneumatic energy pack thing uh, and that's going to be going this way so the tinier tank is going to be on top i went on simply enough be cautious of this bit right here it's going to be easy to snap off if you're not careful this is what it looks like from the beginning so we just have one bit left, E5, which is our right arm, right hand more or less, which will connect to there, and then also there's a tube on that which will connect onto the backpack, you see right, right there. Okay, if you can rotate the wrist um, a, quite a bit and this will still be stuck into the backpack, so I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing for you, but I just kept rotating the pipe down until it can't rotate anymore without popping it out of the hole there, and I called it good. Um, looks fine compared to the render too, so we're going to call him good, put him on a base. Douglas McMorning, all done. First part was the tube on his back slash attached to the saw in his right hand, but that wasn't too bad. We've got worse tubes coming up. Um, also, just be careful of that one bit on the backpack that could easily snap off. Anyways, let's move on to his totem. Our chihuahua is even fewer bits. We'll work from the bottom up, so we'll construct the base, which is C2 and C3. They just combine together. And then we'll put the skull onto C3. Uh, yeah, I believe that just goes right on the knee there. <clears throat> Anyways, then the body of the chihuahua, C1, on top of those two bits, followed by the head, C4. Okay, so let's start with C2 and C3 and combine them. Okay, here's C2 and C3 is just going to fit right in there. Okay, right, there's the combined bits. Now the skull, C, C4, C, C5. I apologize. Skull C5 is going to fit right along there and be kind of facing um, towards the camera. And it fits in there pretty snugly. Just make sure the bottom is flat with the rest of the bit. Okay, we're done with the base. Now we can actually add the dog body, which is C1. It's going to sit on top right there. In fact, you can see the paws. Okay, body is on. 
fits nice and snug, nothing difficult. Let's do C4 the head right there, and then we'll call him good. And like that, we have one small angry doggo. Let's put him on a base. 50% rage, 50% tremble. The zombie chihuahua is done. Hardest part was probably the skull, and that's just because I have to say what the hardest part is. I'm contractually obligated by my totally real contract. Anyways, yeah, he's got some small bits, but could have been a lot worse. Could have been second edition. Anyways, let's move on. Sebastian the Henchman. Oh, uh, just eight bits. Yes, eight. Uh, we'll combine the two halves of the torso first, and then slap the legs on the bottom, followed by the head right here in the middle of the chest. Well, okay, he's got a hump, so that's probably where the neck normally is. Um, then we'll do the right arm and the left arm, which will also connect to the saw and the right arm, the backpack energy thing, and finish it with the pipe, the tube that goes from the backpack to the saw, okay? All right, grab B3 and B5. B5, the back. No, add, add B7 the legs before you do the other half. Otherwise, that's going to be nearly impossible just because the uh, cloth flap here and on the other bit. I'm going to make that kind of impossible. So B7 the legs next. There we go. Now, finally, B3 the front half. Okay, looking nice and solid. Now let's do B6, the head. And there we go, halfway done. I did have to rotate the head a bit to get it to fit square and center. Uh, so just keep that in mind that I, I rotated it clockwise. And eventually it'll just sort of settle. And you'll know it's in the right spot. Okay. Um, let's do B2, the right arm next. The one with the saw. Another nice and easy fit. This thing looks good. Okay. Now we're going to do B8, the left arm, which also connects to the saw right here. Okay. I just took a little bit of bending of the saw to get that handle in there correctly, but yeah, there we go. Now, two final bits. Let's do B4, the pneumatic the, the pack thing mm, this the tube the big tube okay you can dry fit but also you can just use this great as point of reference for orientation that anyways it's flush against his back just fine now lastly b1 the tube which will connect up here and go around and connect to the end of the saw right there. That's our last bit. Couple of things of note. One, the end of the tube with the sharper angle is the one that's going on top of the tank, whereas the mild angle goes at the end attaches to the saw. The tube loops underneath the backpack thing, not over the top of it, to get to the saw as well. That's important to assembly, otherwise you might be filling with it for a minute or two. But okay, Sebastian's all done. Put him on a base. Sebastian is all done. Hardest part, um, the tube. Yeah, um, I guess figuring out how the head is supposed to angle is also not the easiest thing in the world, but overall pretty easy build. So yeah, let's move on to... The minions. Our first flesh construct. More bits. Most bits we've seen so far. Um, yeah, these guys are slightly more complicated than the first half of this box. It's okay. They got big chunky bits at least. Should be relatively easy to assemble. Just takes a little bit longer. Yeah, we'll just put the two halves of the body together first. And then the bits of cloth around the waist. I believe this one goes in front right here and this one goes back here. After that, we'll do the feet, and then the head, and then we're going to do the uh, pipes first. Uh, we'll do this one first, and then this one second. Before we do the arms, because they go underneath the armpit here. Um, sorry, this this armpit. Um, you can see the groove that one of the pipes is going to follow to get to the head. They're both going into roughly the neck, I think. Right, okay. So, let's do A3 and... 
A4. Starting with A4, the back half of the torso, at A3. He's chonky. Okay. A10 is going to be our front sort of shorts, or pants bit, whatever. Okay, goes in just fine. Now let's do A11 on the flap covering the butt. Also, just fine. Easy peasy. Now, let's go ahead and do the feet next. What are we looking at here? A5 is going to be our left foot, and A6 is going to be our right foot. Okay, goes on fine, but doesn't really have a set position. I just put it the way it looked best to me. You rotate it however you so feel. It is an amalgamation of corpses, so you can do it however you want, honestly. Okay, A6, the right foot. The right foot, um, um, more, a better connection just because the back of the ankle makes it easier um but yeah it's still it's fine he stands kind of nothing wonky about him anyways let's do a7 the head next goes in easy but be extremely careful with this two bit that's attached to his neck that's something that can very easily bend and snap off if you're not careful let's move on to the tubes on the back I'm going to go ahead and start with A9 first, which is going to fit into the bigger hole. And let me check the render. I'm not sure which, if it's going to attach to this thing right here or into the side of the neck. I think into the side of the neck, but I'll check. Or what a smart person would do would just be able to attach it and then show you which one it goes into. So this is going to plug into the side of his neck. It'll also glue to the side of the model as well. Well, that's what it looks like from the back. So now we can move on to the other tube, A10, A10. Uh, we're just going to go into the other hole, and then we'll attach to the tube that's already sticking out of his neck. Um, so it also connects to uh, the body right below the tube that was sticking out of his neck on the head bit. But it'll, and it'll also glue to the tube that we did before. But these are how the two of them are supposed to go in. And now we just got a victory lap, I guess. So A1 is going to be our left arm, and A2 is going to be our right arm. A1 went in fine. Has a bit of a rotation to it, but you just got to align it with the rest of the arm. And uh, now A2. All right, cool. Same situation as the other arm, but he's done. Let's get him on a base. Flesh construct number one is done. We're going to call this one boil. Tubes, hardest part. That wasn't obvious. Tubes, tubes have been hard so far, and they're going to continue to be hard, I think. But that's really where all the difficulty lies. Everything else was pretty darn simple. Okay. On to our next one. On to our second flesh construct. This one has noticeably fewer bits. Hooray! We'll start like we always do, both halves of the torso together. Then we'll do both of the legs. Then both the arms. The pipes go... The tubes go over the top this time, so... No worry about them getting in the way. Then with the head, and we'll finish up with the tubing. So grab D2 and D1 first. D1, the back of the torso. Plus D2, the front of the torso. Now let's do D3, the left leg, followed by D4, the right leg. It will very kindly follow the curve of the uh, back of the uh, whatever she's wearing. So you see how the bulge of the calf just fits right into that groove. So, pretty big connection point. Now let's do D4. Just realize we can go in numeric order. Heck yes. Alright. There's D4, the right leg. Also connects over to D3, the left leg. Keep that in mind. Okay, now let's do D5, the right arm. Easy peasy. Now let's do D6, the left arm. Okay, well, the right arm had a very solid connection. This one was a little bit wigglier. But if you try to do what I did, it should just be fine. Uh, let's do D7, the head now. And there's the head. Be wary, the hair can bend and possibly snap off. You can already see some of the stress going on in mine right there. So just be cautious. Okay, here's the hard part, D8 and D9. 
Um, we'll do D8 first because, again, numerical order makes my brain happy. Um, so that is actually going to connect right here. And it will also connect right here on the shoulder, uh, which will give you a good line to where it will end up finishing in the connection right here on the neck. And I um, don't really have a good point of reference on the bit, but um, you can see the ends are slightly different. This one with the sort of bulb at the end is what's going to connect in the back here, and the one kind of with the uh, it sort of thins out, that's going to go on the neck. Okay, once you've got it in the uh, connected to the two points on the back where it initially starts and that groove on the shoulder, and there's really no way for it to go anywhere else on the front. So while the connection point on the neck isn't obvious, in fact I'm not 100% sure that it is, it's just where the pipe ended up settling and it's flush against that spot. So I'm going to call that good. Just let me know if you think I did it wrong. But we can move on to D9, which is a little bit easier. Um, that is going to connect right here on the chest. And it's going to go back around her back, and it will connect here on her back, pretty close to where we connected the uh, first tube. But you can also see a connection point right here, which will make it pretty solid and harder to mess up. And there we are. Looks real good. Just a little fiddly to get in there, but easier than the previous tube. We're all done. Let's base her. Flesh construct number two is done. We're gonna call her Bella. It tubes. It's always the tubes. Every single time it's been the tubes have been the hard part. Um, yeah, that's about it. Still mildly frustrated. The connection point on the neck is very, very odd, but that's all there really was is to it. This is just big chunky body parts which are pretty easy to assemble. Okay, let's finish this up. Our last flesh construct, flesh construct three, and the last model of this box. Let's get to him. I'm going to grab both halves of the torso, like we always do. Once we're done with that, we'll do the two legs, the two thighs, I guess. I think we might glue them together and put them onto the torso as one piece, or my doom individually, we'll see what they look like once we get them off the sprue, followed by both of the feet. And then we're going to go and do the right arm. The two tubes, because they go over and under the left arm, so it'd probably just be easier to put them on before we do the left arm. And then our last two bits, the head, and then the stuff coming out of the head. All right. Grab D1 and D2. D2, the back of the torso, plus D1, the front of the torso. Sorry, I've been saying D when the bits are labeled the character B, as in boy. Anyways, B3, our left leg, I'm going to go ahead and put in by itself. It'll take just a tiny bit of force to kind of pop it into place, but I feel like this is better than trying to glue it on to half of the torso. That's what it looks like, so now we can do um, B4, the other leg. Again, this takes a little bit of force to pop into place, but not difficult at all. Next we'll do B7, the left foot, followed by B8, the right foot. And that's only has one real way to go on with the ankle looking smooth like that. Um, so that's B7. The toe thumb is making me very uncomfortable. Um, let's do B8 now. Another one with just a little bit of dry fitting to make sure it goes in the right way. Um, well, there's only one way it'll actually go in, so it's very, very solid, the connection for B8. All right, let's move on to the right arm, B10. This one's slightly wigglier of a connection point, but there's only one angle it can really be at without there being a very obvious seam. So, good on that. Now, let's start on our tubes. Um, go and grab B5 first. One sec. 
I'm sorry, B5, the very obvious plug end of it is going to go right here on the tummy. It's going to curve up and attach to the shoulder here, and it'll be a continuation of this pipe on the back. Okay. Looks good. There's also a connection point on the chest right here, too, so plenty of spots to connect the tube should be fine. Now, B9, or other tube, is going to connect here, and you can kind of see how it's supposed to wrap, because that's a groove, that's not... And it meets the other tube in the butt crack. Okay, and that's, that's what it looks like. Let's do B11, the left arm. And another easy connection. Let's just trundle right along. B12, the head. And yet again, another easy connection. Let's finish this up with B6, the, uh, the fluid. Gross. Let's face them. Flush construct number three is done. We're going to call this one Karloff. Hardest parts. Um, another one really easy. The tubes, though. The tubes were the hardest part, but that was the hardest part on all of them. Anyways, he's gross. Let's look at the rest of the box, shall we? The McMorning core box is done. We've got Dr. Douglas McMorning, Zombie Chihuahua, Sebastian, and three fleshed constructs. Uh, hardest part was just tubes. Lots, lots of tubes in this one. Tubes everywhere. Um, man, each model except for the Chihuahua had some kind of tube I had to deal with. Um, I believe I gave you pretty good instructions on those, so I'm not too worried about this one. I would con con consider this medium difficulty. Um, yeah, that's all I really have to say. Other than that, large bits is nice, and the Chihuahua was not nearly as bad as the second edition one. Oh, good lord, I'm glad we updated that. Okay, I've been your foreman, Douglas Scoundrels, helping you build a better Malifaux. Enjoy your zombies.